All right, guys, how you guys doing today? Um, so, you guys probably saw it in the background, but this thing is a 1984 Suzuki LT185 Quad Runner. Um, I changed the valves in it because the like the timing chain skipped and then the valves hit the piston and they bent. So I changed the valves in it, got it running. Was having some fuel problems, but now it seems to be priming and starts Starts and it stalls out. It just needs to be ran a little bit, and the carbs need to be tuned a little bit. But there's like, like the gas tank's just wobbling, and there's a bunch of that stuff. So we're gonna, just gonna tighten down all like the cables, like zip tie them to the frame and stuff. Uh, put the gas tank on. Also put the airbox cover on. And my plan is to actually stud these tires, and then go right out on the lake with it. So I have these little studs here uh, that I'll try and use, see if those work. So uh, yeah, let's try and get this thing uh, running good. And uh, we'll see what happens. So it's a week later. Got a package for the Suzuki. Let's check out and see what it is. New fuel pump, baby. So uh, I ordered this fuel pump because the one that's on here, don't don't mind all the yellow fuel lines, but the one that's on here, uh, it runs when you prime it, but then after when um, like when you when you're off the primer, it dies out. So it's either the fuel pump or the vacuum line, but it couldn't really be the vacuum line. And I checked, and there is suction coming from here to there, so it's gotta be the fuel pump. So we're gonna swap this out and see if this fixes our problem, and then if it does, well, we're gonna go rip this thing. So there's the old fuel pump. Oh, gonna have to clean that up. I have this custom hose made for the uh, vacuum because for some reason just this piece was not long enough to reach from here to down here so my plan was with the fuel line to use that as a fuel line and vacuum line but the fitting on the vacuum line is way bigger than this fitting right here so yeah, I could probably make it work, but we'll just use this. It is airtight. Right. Hmm, the whole thing's just leaking gas. This thing just poured gas out of the overflow. Um, I'm gonna bring it outside and we'll let it run for a bit. See if it like clears itself out. Cause it hasn't been ran in like three years. Cause um, when the valves went out on this thing, uh, I just parked it in the barn and then I ended up getting my dirt bike, which is the 150F. And this is like actually the thing that like kind of started the channel, you know? like. If you go look back, like to one of my first videos, it got like a thousand something views. More than my regular videos get. Which, if you guys have not already, please go subscribe to the channel. It's not that much work, just go down there and hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Um, trying to get to a thousand by the end of 2023. So yeah, if you guys do that, that'd help me out and I really appreciate it.
Pretty sure what's happening is just like so flooded. It's just dripping out. So I don't know what's going on, but it is leaking out of the carb right there. I do have an extra carb that I bought and I haven't put it on yet, but I'm gonna put that on. But first we gotta go for a hot lap, I think, because I'm just so happy you got this thing going. Alright, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this thing, but, it just keeps leaking out of the overflow. But I'm sure it's not that bad of a fix. Maybe just like the, the float stuck open or something but it's not that cold outside today so i think we're just gonna work outside and i don't want to sink up the inside of the garage for no reason my dad does get pretty mad if that happens so one thing that i always forget that i have is or that my dad has is that ultrasonic cleaner so i think i'm gonna throw these in and uh so we're gonna let that sit for a bit, and then uh, it's 30 minutes. All right, so it's a few days later. Uh, Owen's here now, and um, carbs are, the carb is in here. It's way cleaner than it was before. I'm just gonna use the shiny bolts because we care about the aesthetics, right? Yeah, yeah. Need to make it look good. What kind of bump start is it? It bump starts? Yeah. Does it actually? I think we did too good of a job, Tyler. <laughs> it's still leaking. There's so much. Damn it. I forgot there's no seat. Ha, what's the seat got to do with bump starting it? Oh, you slammed your ass into it. I see. <laughs> 